hey guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be my last haul of 2022 and i am filming this in 2023 so this video is like two weeks two weeks behind hey guys editing becky here so i decided to split this video up into two parts because i'm still getting over this very long cold so i actually i'm not going to film anything and then next week i will be out because i'm going on my first trip since 2019 i am going to puerto rico to visit my grandma me my sister my brother and my dad we're going to be surprising her on her 90th they're going to be throwing her a party i also didn't want to skip another sunday because youtube will punish me <laughs> dropping down to one video has already changed the way my videos are recommended so i don't want to skip a video so please check out number two i know sometimes when they're split up they're not really viewed as much but help your girl out so this is part one of the haul honestly this haul was a bit of a disappointment so there are definitely a lot of likes that could turn into loves and then i do have to me a, a couple of fails also i'm getting over a cold so if i sound stuffy that's why we're just gonna be real casual about this so we have a lot so let's go ahead and get into the video so first up we're gonna go over the fragrance that i've had probably the longest i think i got this one in very early october and that is rosendo mateo and this is sweet rose now everyone talks about number five and i don't know if it's six or seven but i feel like it's those three numbers and this wasn't one that i saw a ton of videos on and i've been just loving rose lately so i looked up the notes i saw reviews on fragrantica and this is a fragrance that to me was gonna be right up my alley but it's not <laughs> it's not a bad fragrance but i'm not picking up the gorgeous top notes that this fragrance claims to have this fragrance for me is a musky rose something doesn't smell like it but it's something i can get from like Narciso Rodriguez, the Eau de Parfum. It's, yeah, I'm not getting the beautiful, I think this one has, this one has passion fruit and then I believe it's strawberries and another kind of fruity top note that I just, I thought that it was going to be like a sexy summer nights kind of fragrance. Cause it, it is rosy, it's musky. So I, I knew it was gonna be a little bit grown up now i will say that i picked this up during a cooler season and then it did get pretty cold here in florida we had some record lows so i'm i'm holding on to this for summer but right now i'm not i'm not impressed because i'm not picking up the passion fruit the strawberry the red berries and the raspberry like not even at the top to me i'm getting all of the rose and musk and a little bit of greenness and something kind of bright and citrusy which is the bergamot this one has rose bulgarian rose turkish rose and then geranium and then it's got musk and then cedar sandalwood vetiver and vanilla in the base but i'm getting more of the mid and the base i'm definitely picking up on that musk and the rose and it's not a bad fragrance but there's other fragrances that i have that are similar and less expensive so i'm gonna hold on to it for summer and see if i get any of those gorgeous fruity top notes but so far i'm not so this one was a little bit of a letdown and again this is sweet rose the bottle is gorgeous and the and the packaging and everything is i mean stunning so i'm just gonna wait for summer if i don't pick up those notes i'm i'm gonna pass this i on. did talk about in my top and bottom of 2022 so if you want to see a more in-depth like my thoughts on this fragrance check that video out this is coffee addict by theodoros gelotinis this one was a fail yeah this was in my my bottom of 2022 because this is not my kind of scent now if you guys have been rolling with me you guys know that i'm not that don't buy this don't waste your money save your coins i'll do that if a fragrance has poor performance and that matters to you but scent wise this isn't my kind of fragrance 
this is for your coffee lover and that's my fault I've said before that I don't want overly coffee scents when I would just hear all these people talk about it I'm like I need to smell this this is a very realistic coffee fragrance so if that's your thing this is for you I've learned that overly coffee is not for me so this is one that I'm passing on if my girl Latanya still wants it let me know but she's going she was a fail for me just because this isn't my style of fragrance. And again, that's Theodoro Scalotini's Coffee Addict. Okay, another fragrance that I hauled a while ago and one that I have to try in summer. This is a like, not a love, but this is Soleil Passion by M. Mikalev. I mean, this bottle and this beautiful bracelet. This is one that could have been a hit. This could have been the hit of this haul but the musk in here I love musk guys this is a kind of tropical musky fruity scent you get the creamy sandalwood in here gorgeous on paper gorgeous in the air but the musk on my skin comes off a little BO and I just I can't have that now I am going to try it in summer to see if it plays a little differently because we do get more summer hot months here in Florida. But in this cool weather, this on my skin, especially when I put nose to skin because in the air, I don't I don't really get it. This has something kind of like I have put perfume on, like I put on a really pretty musky perfume and then I went to the gym. Like I don't smell awful, but that just slightly kind of musky a little slightly bo i don't want you to think of like bo just me i'm not someone who sweats a lot like on my body but there's just a, a tinge of something but i still have something fresh on that's what i'm getting the musk in here is how it plays on my skin so it's one that could be a love because I do get the pomegranate that's in here. I do get a very kind of exotic fruit that I don't get in any of my other fragrances. Kind of like what I wanted to get in Sweet Rose. I kind of get it in here. But it's the musk in this one. It's the musk. And it's happened to me a long time ago with other fragrances with musk in it. So that's why I know it's the musk. That's just not playing well on me so i'm gonna give it a chance in summer because i absolutely do love the scent of this but the musk is just not it's not playing well and this bottle is just gorgeous so hopefully i can get it to work if not she's gotta go because i don't want to smell like bo so i did pick up a bunch of coach fragrances and i'm gonna go over these in more detail i want to spend more time with these but i'm just gonna go over the eau de parfum and wild rose real quick i will say that i've already tried out the eau de toilette i'm not sure how i feel about that one but i do really love floral blush and floral i like these kind of scents for every day i'm someone who i actually decluttered the eau de parfum because it was a little redundant, but then I was missing it because I really love these kind of clean, out of the shower, musky fragrances. And this is just, yeah. This is what I like to wear on a daily. I love fragrances like these. I love them for the gym. I love them to just be around the house. I smell clean, fresh, musky, not too much going on. This is what I like on an everyday basis. It's got something kind of shampooy about it. It was actually maria it's mj she's the one that put me onto this and again i just decluttered it because i had a lot of the same but then i was missing it because this is my kind of perfume so i already knew i wanted this one and then they were had like 80 percent off during the holidays so i got all of these except for the wild rose because it is newer for like 25 28 dollars they were very inexpensive so the new wild rose is in this really pretty kind of burgundy color this one's nice this one i would say is the more young fun sweeter version this one has black currant rose something kind of fresh and fruity at the top probably from the black currant there is something slightly kind of like raspberry but they don't list raspberry but this one's pretty fun i would say out of 
the line. I'm not sure if it was floral or floral blush, but one of them I really liked. I can't remember. I just popped it on really quick to kind of run errands and I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm going to play with these and then do a house review. I already started doing house reviews and I'm going to do more of them in the new year. I just enjoy fragrances like this. And so far, the ones that I've tried, I've enjoyed. The only one I'm not sure I like is the Eau de Toilette. But I only wore it once, so I have to play with it a little bit more. Okay, since I am splitting this video up, I am going to quickly go over these two because I have been wearing them and enjoying them this week. And I am going to be doing this house line review and breaking these all up separately in more detail. But in case you're in the market, for just a simple, easy, grab-and-go, inoffensive, fruity floral, these are really nice, inexpensive cheapies. So we have here Coach Floral, the Eau de Parfum, and then Coach Floral Blush, the Eau de Parfum. And these are both very similar. I would say you don't need both. That's why I kind of want to quickly just go over the differences. They both open with a beautiful fruity top. This one has goji berries. The blush has goji berries. And then this one is said to have pineapple. It's not overly pineapple, but there is kind of a juicy fruit in the opening. They both open very, very fruity and juicy. And then they both dry down to be a very kind of shampoo-y, light, airy, musky scent. If you want something a little bit more on the pink floral side, this one has peony, I would say go for floral blush. And then if you want something a little bit more white floral, but not like strong white florals, this is more of an airy, musky floral scent, but it leans a little bit more on the white floral side than check out floral. This one has a little bit more of a citrus top, and I would say that the citrus in here is a little bit more mellowed out. So this one does have a little bit more of a freshness to it, and this one has something a little bit more pink and fruity. So I'm going to go over these two in a little more detail, but just to kind of pop these in. Again, this is like my scent of the day. I've been wearing both and testing them out side by side. So again, that is Coach Floral and Coach Floral Blush. Another fragrance that I got around that same time is Narciso Cristal. This one I love the opening of this fragrance for me this smells it has something from the white cube and the kind of soft blush cube so the original narciso and then pudre those two i've always said smelled similar but the white cube is a little bit more clean and fresh and then pudre is more sweet but they're both this kind of creamy powdery scent very feminine very chic and i get that in here there's something powdery and i don't know where the creaminess comes from in the fragrances but there's just something kind of creamy powdery it's kind of weird i get it in all three of them and it's got the narciso musk but more like what the cubes smell like but this one leans a little bit more floral so whereas pudre is to me a little bit more powdery it's also slightly sweeter than the original and then the original is powdery and then clean this one's powdery and floral and i absolutely love the opening of this scent i think it's after the two hour mark i get more of the freesia i think the mid and base notes i don't know maybe they leave and i get more of the freesia and then this one does kind of bother me a little bit so i'm gonna play with it a little bit more but this is a really nice floral scent but the freesia note i'm not too crazy about but i do get the dna in this one it does have something in between pudre and the original i think it's the eau de parfum so again that is narciso cristal okay the next we have a few from Aqua de Parma. And we have Pionia Nobile and Rosa Nobile. I already tested out 
peonia so i already knew what i was getting i knew i was gonna like this one again this is my kind of scent it's kind of your musky floral this one's very much a peony scent this one i bought because they had it on sale at sephora but this is a musky peony scent and there's something kind of peppery in this one and aquatic even though i don't think it's described as aquatic there is something kind of fresh and clean about this scent and again just another one that i enjoy like for daily wear it's kind of that clean musky floral scent i tested this one out first and then i blind bought rosa nobile i just had a feeling it was gonna smell similar but more on a rosy side and that's exactly what it smells like this is like a dewy musky rose they smell really nice like layered on top of one another yes really nice kind of everyday fragrances so this one it's got something again something that's tickling my nose but it leans more on a dewy rose side where this one leans a little bit more on a fresh peony side a little bit more aromatic this one's a little bit more dewy really pretty again i'm just really enjoying these kind of clean musky florals for daily use and it's a house that i've been wanting to get into so i i am happy with these the reason why i said these weren't like a hit is because i already knew what this one smelled like and i knew that this was going to be very similar but on a rosy side so it wasn't anything that just blew my mind but still these i will say i really enjoy these too okay then next we have a couple from house of siage we have mini mouse and then i did get ice hard candy i mean these bottles this is definitely the collector side of me now i'm not saying i would collect every cupcake but there are just certain cupcakes especially the limited edition ones that i love and so far i've had pretty decent luck i will say that the atelier line is it my favorite i'm a little disappointed because to me these are the cutest cupcakes this is probably my least favorite now i did fall in love with batman i did fall in love with chauvedo uh hot bijou and also disney mickey and then minnie mouse i enjoy but there's something in here that's bothering me so that is where i'm gonna end it kind of in a teaser i'm sorry i just kind of want you guys to come back so we have house of siage next we also have the new alita fragrance we have the new clean and we also have ariana grande both mod fragrances so check out part two which is coming next week but let me know in the comments below do you guys have any of these fragrances that i went over let me know your thoughts but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys